Hi. I'm live. Just the usual crappy intro for me. Like normal. Yeah. I don't know, do you really expect more from me? Besides, it's Sunday. Cut me some slack, would you? And I lost an hour of sleep last night to the daylight savings time change. Speaking of which, does the bot say EDT? It sure does. Good to see that that still works. <sighs> so yeah, um, FTL. I'll be real glad when this streak of streams is over. Honestly, this is why I don't stream more frequently than I normally do. Cause the burnout, the burnout gets real after a bit. But it's okay, I'm only doing this for about a month, so. Just get through this and then it's over. Speaking of which, um, this. Yeah, I barely talked about this last night, but, uh, still a thing. Streaming for 31 days in a row, we're on day 17 of at least 31. There's a way to add more days, it ain't cheap, but, well... After what I just said, you really think I want to do more days if I don't have to? But there's also incentives. I know the $500 incentive could be better, but I don't know what else to put there. Yeah. I don't know. I'll just point out my usual of if we hit the $750 incentive and the 25 sub goal of I can play the original Spyro the Dragon on actual hardware-ish. Ish, because PS3. But, I mean, it it's still natively supported. It's probably emulated, but it's native emulation, so that counts, right? Look, if you want it on a PS2, I don't have a PS1, but if you want it on a PS2, which would be a lot more accurate, I would think, $2,000. No, it does not cost that much to get an analog capture card. But my bank account is basically empty. So, yeah. Anyway, that's under the usual commands that are in the title. Shall we get started with some FTL? My summer car is going to get bumped off my recently played list in Steam. But that's fine, because I died. FTL. I'm going to have to do... Wait, can I get... No, I missed the first bong. Apparently that's a thing, though. There we go. And yes, as Callie pointed out immediately, normal mode. I could put it on hard, but I don't want to do that. Easy mode was fun last time, but I don't want to do easy mode again. I want to do normal. Advanced edition content is of course enabled, because why would I not? And random ship, let's go! I said let's go! Oh dear. Rock B. Now that is a ship. I don't have the C variant? I also don't have... Rock Quest done, apparently. There's a list. Okay, well. If I can hopefully complete this run, then I'll unlock Rock C. So. Fun by me. The interesting about interesting thing about this ship, as you might notice, there's no door subsystem. And there's no external ventilation. No doors all along here, no control over these doors. but you get a bunch of rocks that can deal with fire very effectively. Only gotten a win with rock A, and what's the one I'm missing? 
Ah, right, yes. Defense drones don't do anything. Destroy an enemy ship which has a defense drone deployed using only missiles. Don't think I'm going to get that with this ship. Alright, well. Let's see how well this doesn't go. Starting off in a nebula right off the bat. I mean, hmm. It'd be rude of me not to take advantage of this. Achoo. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, it'd be rude of me not to take advantage of that. I should probably get my weapons loaded up. Oh, I have to choose. That's right. Seriously, you have Flak 1 right off the bat. Bruh. Alright, well, yeah, I'm definitely doing Heavy Pierce. Straight into weapons. If you don't know, Heavy Pierce is just a heavy laser, but it can pierce one layer of shields. I think it's only one layer, and of course it's a miss. What the hell? Good. Basic laser is no threat to me. Uh, no. I'm just gonna keep pummeling your weapons. What's going on over there? Oh! You know what? I can get a crew win like this. Most likely. Well, no, I can't. Not at this point. The fire would have to spread to shields, like, now. And it did. And then it has to spread to piloting and engines. It basically has to spread to where it'll kill off the crew, but without destroying any systems. Which ain't gonna happen. Yeah, see? Only a little bit longer left on the shields before they die. And it's gone. Oh well. If I'd realized that a little bit sooner, that might have worked out. And of course the rock... Rocks move very slowly. Very slowly, and it's the pilot, so I have to wait until he gets back to jump. But, oh well. Um, I mean, this... Hmm. They're being the worst. Yeah, shield piercing is only one on that. Not the worst, not the best either, so I'll just put one in the weapons right off the bat. If I can take out piloting. With a breach? No breach. Nice breach. <sighs> I should probably look into getting an extra power in the weapon system at some point, but first and foremost I need to focus on getting more shields, because two layers of... What is it with these ships? Two layers of shields is much safer, especially when you encounter Flak 1s and BL 2s right off the bat. Nice. Oh yeah, you get back on shields. FTL delayed, you say? Well, that simply won't do. <laughs> and it was another breach. Say goodbye to your O2 system and your ship as a whole. Alright. 
nothing seemed useful. Well, that's a shame. So that effectively just got me one extra jump in this sector. Yeah, sure. One extra jump from, uh... going through the two nebula nodes. Yeah. Look, again, it's Sunday. Sunday, I got one less hour of sleep than I normally would. So... Brain not functioning at 100%. And I may also be sick, too, so there's that. Can't tell if I'm... I got whatever my mother's got, or if I just am dealing with allergies right now, but something's up. Good thing at least is that it's not COVID. One more shot should do it, and because piloting and engines are down, there's no way they can avoid it, and it was another breach. Yeah, do you love to hear it? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I want to get that missile launcher offline. My ship has rock plating, so it has a chance of not taking damage. Oh, there's a fire. I like this a lot, actually. Alright, just kill him. Because I kind of want to upgrade my shields, but I gotta wait to do that. Uh, two firebombs, sure. Neat. I have an NG friend. Uh, you can go sit in there, I guess. That's the button. Okay, well, I have a moment. There. Two shields. Well, that's a great start for the drone. Immediately missing two shots in a row. Okay, there it goes. Three shots. Not three shots, rather. There's a resist. Can you stop nailing the shields? Alright. You stop, too. Hey, I got a breach in weapons. The weapons will never come back. Hmm. You know, I could take advantage of that. The shame of it is I have no way to train weapons, but I could technically train shields and evasion on this drone whenever it comes back. God, you love to see the breaches. So, in case anybody is unaware, the way that automated ships work. With a normal crewed ship, stuff has to be repaired by the crew, right? For automated ships, it works slightly differently. The ship can repair itself. However, if a room is breached, like either of these two are, those systems become unrepairable, and they will stay damaged indefinitely. So in this case, you can see that the drone subsystem has been repaired halfway, and is in the process of being fully repaired. At which point that thing will come back online. But these two, they're just damaged. They're never gonna come back. And if I attack once more, the ship's dead. But also, if I just sit here like this, and the drone doesn't do any quick movements. Yeah, words. Sorry. Like I said, I might be sick. 
Not sure. Might just be allergies. Um, if the drone does any quick movements, I might take damage, but otherwise I'm fine, and I can just get some fairly quick training in here. Combat drones are actually really good for that, because they fire much more often than regular weapons. And I get the occasional miss in as well. So this is probably one of the best cases for early game crew training. <clears throat> I guess to explain that as well, you can see each crew member has stat that they get trained in as they, you know, they pilot or are manning the engines or the shields or the weapons and everything. You can see it currently piloting 13 out of 15 plus 5 to the evasion. That was a quick double shot by the drone. Whenever the drone misses two more times, thank you, you can see the evasion went up to plus seven. And if piloting and engines get another set or 15 misses, and note engines, same case, I'll get another th plus three evasion, totaling it up to 10, plus 10, which each give plus 20. So I'll have, instead of 10 evasion, 30 evasion. Just for having fully trained crew members manning the systems. Also, you can go heal or something. I'd like to heal the guy on shields as well, but the problem is, I take him off of shields, he's not going to get any training in. And unlike piloting, shields takes a fair amount of hits. You can see the recharge bonus there. So just a couple of more hits or a couple of more misses. There we go. Plus 20% or 20% faster recharge, however you want to say it. Again, this does take a while. But, I mean, you get to enjoy the music, because the music in this game is fantastic. And then, I get these bonuses done early on. And like I said, the drone moving around? Drones are about the fastest way to get this training done, because they just shoot every few seconds instead of, like, every 10 to 15, like a normal weapon system would. Just, just goes that little bit faster in theory. guys. They're almost done, actually. Fields is getting there. I might, depending on how quickly it happens, once these guys hit 15 out of 15, I might just call it there, because the shields are going to get to where they need to be fairly quickly. But then again, I've got this easy opportunity to do it, so it depends. There's another miss. So they only need two more misses, versus you need another 30 nearly. Just about 25. There's one miss. Oh, yeah, that was a triple. That was a triple. You see how close I just came to almost getting damage there? That's the risk with drones, and that's why I didn't... I wouldn't want to do this with only one layer of shields. It just did two quick movements to get three shots off in quick succession. And if I hadn't had the shield training, I absolutely would have gotten hit there. Because the shields would not have recharged fast enough. That's the risk you gotta keep in mind with drones. Very easy to die because of that. Also, you'll notice I just dropped the power out of the engines. 
I don't want the ship to dodge right now. I wanted to hit the shields. I only need 10 more hits. So, you know, if it's dodging the hits, that's just wasting time. Since it's this close anyway. Another fire bomb. Oh, well, two fire bombs that I can't use at the moment, but I've got three of my uh, four crew members fully trained. Let's go get them healed real quick. I mean, I could turn this into a really fun fire build with this, but um, I don't know. Have to wait and see. Yeah, I mean, probably will happen, Kelly. Hopefully not, though. But random events do me mean like that. Hey, that is a nothing jump. Wow, not many options here to get to the exit. Should be able to get to that store while taking two jumps beforehand. Intervene, sure. Eh. Whatever. Ow. That's the two damage missile. They look the exact same from the outside, so there's no way to tell short of getting hit by it and getting damaged. There we go. Here, go focus on your shields. <laughs> it also got breached. There's a fire in O2. Oh, you love to see it. They're gonna put it out though, unfortunately. <laughs> it got breached again. Uh, I'm just having fun. That's what matters most in this. Yeah, so I can jump here and then jump there, and it's just beyond the line. You can't hit me. That's amusing. This ship cannot hit me at all. Not a bit. I'd have to drop my shield in order for it to be able to hit me. And it's gone with the breach. Breaches don't matter once it's dead, it's just amusing. Yep. As a side note, these distance markers, these lines that show future jumps, that is a mod. That is not part of the base game. But it's a very handy mod that's just like, you don't need it, it's just nice to have, especially as an experienced player who's got how many hours in this game? Not as much as you'd think. Just on PC I have 185 hours, plus however many runs I've done on iPad as well. So, probably in excess of 200 hours. Not seeing anything I want here. And yeah, that's just a repair drone. I'll do that. That way I can have a bit of fun, potentially. Oh yeah, it is iOS only, isn't it? That's a shame. 
Oh yeah, the ship can't hit me. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna firebomb those two. They both hit. And then hopefully I'm going to get the heavy pierce off before that gets put out. Damn it! You are just missing all of my shots. Alright. Now we just let this ship burn. Because even if the fire goes out now, O2's dead. I'm gonna get a crew kill out of this no matter what happens. Just gotta wait out the timer effectively. Why did you. Why? You're killing yourself by going through the room with no O2. <laughs> Double fire. Yeah, I can get a crew kill or I can just expedite the process by shooting into the rooms that they're in and killing them while leaving the ship with at least one hull. Nice. It's a shame that this isn't a dive, but there was no way to do a dive with this. Because since there is a, a nebula here on the final beacon, there would be no ASB. Uncharted Nebula or Mantis Controlled. I'm thinking this, because this could be a rock sector, and rock sectors are actually good for me. In a sense. They're also bad, but there's the potential for them to be good. Okay, this is a dead end over here, so I don't really want to go that way. Boy, this layout sucks. Possibilities for diving here, though. So there's that, I guess. I need another power. This ship can hurt me. But I still want to see if I can make fun strats work. That was no damage. Not that I can see what's going on, mind you. Flex down, so that's good. Hmm. I don't like that the flax back up, but the fact that the engines just took damage is a good sign. Damn yeah, mess. Enemy FTL delayed. Well, there's a fire down there and it's still going. Nice miss. Now there's a fire in piloting. Now. Go fix that since you've got nothing better to do anyway. Stupid flat cannon. I tried to knock it down, but I had to leave some. Damn ship destroyed before the crew died. Well, I tried. Another power bar. 
Oh, there's a story there. Well, I'm gonna skip it because I don't have the scrap for it. That's annoying. Zoltan Shield in Sector 2. And of course I miss. I mean, fortunately, oh, the firebombs don't do anything. Good. Fortunately, this ship can't actually hurt me. Oh, come on. Let's try this again, shall we? is delayed as long as that doesn't go to uh, charging or whatever it is we're good where we are well now it's definitely not gonna go to charging <laughs> okay well O2 is dead it's not getting repaired Bombay is dead so that's not they can't come back these strategies are absolutely worth doing mind you the uh, firebomb strats because if you can get a crew kill you get more scrap. You get better rewards. So you generally want to go for crew kills when you can. That's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, somebody just moved to engines. It'd be really nice to see, but the only way I can do that is by teleporting another fire bomb over there. One, I want to conserve my bombs. And two... Well... Okay, there's fire and weapons, that's why. Two, I don't want to damage the other subsystems if I don't need to. Technically, at this point, I could. But I only have enough for both of the remaining subsystems to go down. So I don't really want to risk it. There you go, see? Because I did a crew kill instead of a destroy the ship, I get new crew member that I don't really need. Go sit in there or something. You can help with inevitable boarding issues. Can't follow. What a shame. Hack the automated ship. Yeah, see, a firebomb is no use on this ship, so... Not even a consideration. Since you can't actually hurt me, get rid of that damn cloaking. Okay, piloting is dead. Weapons is dead. Cloaking is probably going to activate here, though. And by activate, I mean get repaired. But no, didn't. A repair burst? Okay. A repair burst, if I re remember correctly, helps. Yeah, repairs system damage. That is not a heal bomb, it's a repair bomb. Well, that's interesting. It can't repair the hull, but it can repair subsystems. Hmm. Won't be a next time of... Hello! Yet yeah, we're not screwing around with fire strats. That BL2 is gonna fire... Nope, we're good. 
I might still throw a fire down into there just to delay them from repairing it, but we're not doing full-on fire strats. Nice. <laughs> that was another breach. Here, go focus on your, uh, go focus on your shields. I'm sure that'll be of use to you. Focusing on them for a little bit. You got a fire anywhere? I can't win via crew kill at this point, but I never planned on it with a BL2 in the picture. Just want to see what happens. They're not repairing shields. No, they are repairing shields just very slowly. Yeah. I'm guessing the fires got extinguished or whatever. Just nothing was really happening there. Another automated ship. Really? With the... I mean, honestly, that's fine. Beat up O2, I don't care. And then stop with that. Alright, now on to the FTL. Drive. Let's get that, uh... Yep, yeah, there we go. FTL delayed. They're dead. Cool. Mantis is almost done repairing. There we go. Mantis repairs at half speed, don't forget. Of course. Why battle when I can just do that? Nothing. I have to go through the distress beacon if I want to go that way. Well, I need more jumps. Well, that sucks. I guess I'm diving, but it's in a nebula, so it's not that bad. Give them fuel for 30 scrap? That's well worth it. Okay. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. Be worse, but the fact that I missed does not help anything. Yes, I'm aware I have no O2 at the moment. damage to all the subsystems, right? Fields aren't going to be repaired. Then again, nothing is going to get repaired because the ship is dead. Just like that. I'm going to do that and then jump up and then down to the exit. Again, there's no reason not to take a dive here. Okay. Teleporter. I have no interest in doing firebomb strats here. Really? Nice miss. This ship's piloting is really obnoxious. Please be gone. There's no O2 in there. Okay, and that got breached as well, so that's gonna be a non-issue for a while.
Are you really, though? Because I don't think you are. Especially if I do this. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Another ship defeated. Yep. I'm gonna dive. Intruders on board. Oh boy. Here, you know what? I have a silly idea. Can't do it, but I have a silly idea. Why not, right? Like I said, it's a silly idea. How to get more crew healing at one time. Just this simple. Alright, there we go. Everybody's healed up. Fire bombing your own ship is definitely an interesting strategy, but it works. I wouldn't recommend it generally. But it hurried things along there. And see, oh god, you have a chain Vulcan. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Okay, how about you not miss this time? Oh, they have two shields, don't they? Okay. Well, the Chain Vulcan is getting uh, charged up, which is kind of scary. I want to get out of here. Oh dear. Oh shit. Okay, we're out. I only took one bit of damage. Zoltan can- I do not want to deal with Zoltan shields. Besides, Abandoned Sector has some really good music. Alright, we took minimal damage from that. Yeah. Vulcan... Chain Vulcan is a tough weapon to use, but if you can make it work, it is very dangerous. It fires, I think, by default every second, second and a half, somewhere in there, once it's fully charged. And of course, if you have a fully trained crew member, which I do not have currently. But you can see, this is 15% faster charging on the uh, first level of training, right? That, I think, goes up to 20% faster when fully trained up. That gets scary real fast. Speaking of scary, Lanius. They don't need O2. In fact, they will suck the O2 out of a room. Lanius boarding parties? Yikes. Also, firebombs are useless against them, so my loadout right now is not great. Which is why I'm going to the store in the next jump. I just figured I'd make a jump before that. You bastards, you got that off just before it depowered. Uh, I don't want you guys jumping. So, uh, let's, let's not. Let's forego on the FTL charging. Or, you know, we can just miss.
Okay, good. Two stores. That means more options. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. Hell yes. How can I not? BL2. Three damage. Two power. And it hits exactly where you want it to, unlike Flak, which is a spread. One of the best weapons in this game. That automated reloader is also extremely tempting. I'm gonna take it. Buy more fuel, buy a little bit of repair, and screw it, let's see what the other store has. Ah, eh, they're a drone store. Oh, but a scrap recovery arm in Sector 3. I don't know that that is necessarily worth getting, but it's tempting. Drone control has a combat drone. Mind control is always fun. Nice to have in the final thing, actually. I could have mind control hacking and cloaking on this ship if I wanted. You know what, let's take a risk. I wouldn't normally do that. But let's take a risk. The amount of extra scrap I can get from scrap recovery arm. I can't reorder them, apparently. Whatever. Oh, the BL2, though. That is a beautiful weapon. I'll do that as well. Automated reloader allows me to fire that much faster. Uh, hell yeah. I don't care about the translation device. I don't need another crew, especially one that sucks the air out of the room. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be a hero. You're gonna board immediately. Go help out or something. Okay, this I have to be a little bit strategic with, because I can't actually hit with that until the shields are down to at least one layer. Everybody back to your stations. Uh, no, I'm still gonna reject your bribe. Maybe I'll attack your weapons next. Put you on one, I want you on one. There we go. There we go. All done. Well, that's a fair amount of scrap. Double scrap reward. This exit though. What is this sector? That is awful. How many jumps do I have? One, two, three, four, five before it goes under. Hold on. Oh, I can't get the exit from that node, otherwise... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna loop around the top to get the full amount of jumps I can get. There's no other real way to do it. I wanted to go this way, because I'd have to go straight to the exit, and then i just have to dilly-dally around there. That's wasting jumps. Let's go this way. Of course, there's nothing going on. Oh yeah, I never healed the rock, remember, did I? That's a BL3, excuse me. That's not okay, and what sort of what sort of, uh, bomb weapon is that? Oh, Christ, that's just a regular small bomb. 
straight into weapons. Yep. Well, I'm glad some of them missed. Yeah, BL2, stop bombing my weapons, you bastards. <laughs> That's just rude, getting the NG on his way through. So, BL3. Four power, five lasers. Tempting simply to get them to leave me alone. Hmm. Yeah, the BL3 is about to fire off. I'll take the risk going, or I'll hit one instead of two, and I'll just accept their bribe. That's also an option. Oops. Oh well, I didn't take any more damage, so there's that. Getting level 3 shields at some point here. Fairly soon. Hmm. Tell you what. It's risky, it's probably not worth it, but give me 50, or give me a weapon. That's why I said it's probably not worth it, because you might just find a gun that's normally worth 65 scrap. Oh, baby. This weapon system just got nutty. <laughs> BL2 flak? Now we're in a good way. Yeah, I have to... I, it doesn't matter which of those two jumps I jump to, but I have to get to that lower one. Oh, you have a BL-2, a big honking missile, and hacking. Please be kind. Rained O2! Okay. Well, that's fun. Goodbye, O2. It's a little early on the BL2, but that's okay. No. <laughs> Fire in an o 2 -less ship. Speaking of o 2 -less, Wow, that is extremely unlikely. Three in the shields. Alright, well, I'll just give my O2 a second to recharge. There we go. You can see I am going to be taking a dive here, but that's okay. Uh, let's attack. Only one laser out of the BL2. Double fire in O2, you love to see it. Not that it makes any difference with the two of them in there. I really don't want Alanius on my ship. I'm sorry. I don't want it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I mean, they're cool crew members, but also, you know, the whole draining the O2 out of the ship thing is kinda not what I want right now. Plus, I have enough crew as it is. Okay, we're just gonna do that. 
Holy weapon system, Batman. No? Cool. Go help. Did nothing. Cool. Their flak did nothing either, so it's fine. Okay, they went back. Nice miss on the ASP. Okay, we're out of here clean. Maybe a little bit of damage from them? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. NG Homeworlds, that's a nice sector to go to. Oh, and it, apparently it's time for a break. Well, there you go. Oh yeah, I should get the O2 back on, shouldn't I? Here, fill up the ship really fast. You and you. Just heal these guys up real quick as well. Just going to do that automatically since we're into Sector 4. Alright. And, uh, yeah. That's... Going to be it for this segment, this first hour of the stream. I am going to take a short break. Three to five minutes, somewhere around there. Also, can I just do that? To enjoy the ambience of the thing. I can even do this so that you can't even hear the background. You can only hear the game audio. But yeah, I'm going to take a short break. Three to five minutes, somewhere around there. Stand up, stretch, do all that good stuff. And when I come back, we'll continue with some more... Faster than light. It's more FTL. FTL faster than light. It's weird to not just call it FTL. At least it feels weird to me. Anyway, like I said. Yerby. Oh yeah, I'm gonna run some ads while I'm away. The only time during the stream that I do so, and it disables pre-rolls for the next hour. Like I said, BRB.
Alrighty, I am back, and uh, I'm just gonna throw this up on screen because I should talk about it at least once an hour if I'm gonna keep pointing it out. Partially thanks to that large bill that came in last month, which is explained a little bit more in exclamation point help, which is pinned in chat. Uh, but also because my three-year affiliate anniversary is coming up on the 26th, I am streaming 31 days in a row, starting February 24th. It's oh, it's March 12th, so it's, uh, it's day 17. We're over halfway through the month. And uh, that 31 days of streams can be expanded. It's not cheap, because I can already tell I don't want to stream more than I have to, and I'm definitely going to be taking a couple of days off at the end of this. But, at the same time, if you want to help out, then uh, anything above $100 or more, or the equivalent for bits and uh, sub-gifts and whatnot, will add an extra day. Like I said, I know it's fair amount, but as I said, I don't really... I don't want to make it too easy to just extend this indefinitely. Whole bunch of incentives though. Next one is about $150 off. It's closer to $145 at this point. Again, a fair amount. But Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to make everything a little bit because I need to rebuild my bank account, right? I'm not gonna just put all of these into five hundred dollars. No. no. Also, just saying, if you wanted to hit the uh the $2,500 mark right now, you could add another, what, 21 days to the stream total if you just did it all in one go? 2150 or so? A little less than 2150, 2145? You hit basically all of the incentives. You get 21, well, okay, not the sub incentives, I guess. But you add 21 days to the streak, you hit all of the main incentives. And you make me suffer while also making me happy and much more comfortable in terms of finances. Still not comfortable comfortable, but not scraping the bottom of the barrel comfortable. Uncomfortable, I should say, but yeah. So that's there. All the commands are in the title for the relative... Rel relative? Related things. If something tells me I'm probably sick, probably got whatever my mother has. Oh well. It ain't COVID, so that's what matters most. Back to the game. I want to get closer. And there's a store right here. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm going to go to the store just because I want to go this way. Uh, it's a wasted jump, essentially. I guess I can repair and grab a couple more fuel. Oh god, a fire beam. Just go full in on the fire build, shall we? I'm kidding. I'm not doing that. Buy a bit more of that, and... Uh, let's go. This is a little bit risky, but let's... Sure. Yeah, okay, well, more fuel. That fuel was cheaper than at the store. Boy, this ship, does it have enough drones or what? <clears throat> Double fire. Love to see it. Oh, uh, they have... No, they do not. No, they do have NG Medbot Dispersal. Okay. <laughs> the two drones are overlapped. That's why it looked weird. They're trying. 
not appreciate that they're trying, but they're trying. Okay, they're dead now. I could have killed them much sooner if I really wanted to, but I was having a bit of fun with it. Go get them healed up real quick. Or I inevitably forget. Just wait for the rock crewmen to slowly make their way back to weapons. Another store. Gee, that's useless. <sighs> Prove your reactor. Yeah, sure, why not? Free power is never a bad thing. Uh, yeah, why not? Quest is all the way out there, right? Is there any easy way? Yeah, I guess. Also, can you tell it's NG Homeworlds? There's another... Another store. Let's go here. Damn. Not what I want to see. Not the end of the world, but not great either. <laughs> I mean, I stopped the missile, I guess, so there's that. You guys can just stop. I don't think they will be powering up their FTL though. I don't think they have the time for that. Nah, we're good. Okay. Um, I guess the two of you can go get healed up real quick. Once again, wait for him to walk back. How many jumps do I have? One, two, three, four, five, potentially six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be too many. So it's better to just go straight through the store. I saw all three stores in this system. And there's not really anything I want here. Here, just give me a repair. Drone system comes with defense drone. Uh, yeah, I don't want to spend anything right this second, honestly. Get a cash, why not? That'll sell for a fair amount. Okay. Neat. Alright, this thing. That's a lot of shields, sir. That's even more shields, sir. Oh, come on. Let me get the damn missile launcher offline. Okay, it's offline for the moment. Really? Oh. This is ridiculous. What is this crew? Is it just like all NGs? 
Holy crap, and it must be. They are repairing way too fast otherwise. Wow. Okay, well, that missed at least. That also missed. Okay. Holy hell, thank you for the whole repair. And it's a fourth star. Yeah, 25 ain't bad. Gun control is combat. Cloaking, I mean, cloaking is good, but do I want cloaking? What do I ultimately want with this system? Cloaking, mind control, hacking is what I could do. But that would be quite an investment, and I need the drone parts for hacking, which I'm quite short on them. But I don't have hacking as an option right now anyway. Cloaking could be very useful, and it's very useful during the final fight as well. Let's do it. Gonna be diving yet again. Nice PL2 pike beam combo and a defense mark too. Defense Mark 2 is offline, I can get more hits in now, for the moment. Heh. <laughs> okay, that's a thing. Okay, well that chip was easy enough. Haven't really been using the firebomb at all, but I just... Haven't had many ships where it's going to work, you know? All three of you. You escaped damage somehow in that. Isn't this the abandoned sector music? What is it doing playing in the NG Homeworld sector? Am I just misremembering? This might be NG, honestly. I don't remember. No, this isn't an this isn't abandoned sector. This is NG. I haven't played this game enough recently, clearly. <clears throat> Okay, so I want to do this. They're gonna board, that's fine. Run them down there. Perfect. Then we can jump to... I'm gonna go rock control. Again, I do not want to deal with... Golden Shields. I don't have to. I've got two quests in this sector. The only way to get to that one is to go there, so screw it. Let's do it. 
Uh, two fuel for... not right now. That doesn't do anything useful for me. I should have taken that other jump first. Whatever. Probably gonna waste a bunch of jumps this sector. It is what it is. Oh, nice. Where are you gonna land? Engines! Cool. You missed. That was shields. Not actually what I wanted to do. Nah. Just gonna kill you anyway. I could use the scrap. Jump imminent, eh? Oh, there's a store there. Sure, let's see what's at the store. Why not? Whole laser, chain ion, and a whole beam. Ooh. Not gonna buy it, but nice. Whole laser's fun. Whole beam is also fun. I think at this point, it's fair to say that fire bombs are not happening. Do I really want to get rid of it? Heavy pierce has outlived its usefulness, I'd say. Because a heavy, heavy laser is good, but it's only one power. This heavy pierce is two power, which makes it less useful. Also, whole laser does a lot of damage to systemless rooms. Whole beam, similarly. But, hmm. I should really just not worry about another weapon. How many jumps do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jumps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight jumps. And then a dive. Because let's just dive it, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Just double checking that. Yeah, that one's the eighth jump. Um. Well, what if? If I buy the whole laser and replace the heavy pierce with it. The only difference is that this charge is in 14 instead of 10. And these are both 10 and 12, so that would be my longest charging weapon. If I do this, and this, yeah, it's going by. I could also do this. Long range scanner, it's not at this point in the game. Not uh, store. the flak at the front, and then those two there. Yeah. We're gonna ignore that distress beacon, I can still make the most of this sector otherwise. Uh, they're gonna teleport. Oh. Well, that's 
interesting. They have a rock crewman. Balls. They have two rock crewmen. You couldn't just... <laughs> Well, fortunately, I have a bit of extra damage I can take to O2 because of the ship coming with two power by default. The ship's dead. <laughs> they teleported back just in time to die. Oh, boy. Okay, fine. You can join the ship. You're just gonna sit in the middle here, though. Who else? You. Okay. Taking a long time to heal, bud. Alright. The human can just sit in the center of the ship and be useless. Because what else is he, is he meant to do, you know? Guess I could put him in cloaking, but eh. Um Sure, since you don't have another room to put it in. Let's put it into weapons, right? Or I could do this. Put it into shields. Now you guys don't have shields in an asteroid field. That works well for you, right? And they resisted it. And they're dead. <laughs> I will no longer resist attacks myself because I got rid of the rock plating. But so be it. I have no... Whatever. Grab recovery arm. Ho oh, ho. Crap recovery arm is a good sub or a good augment. I could get a door system. I think I'll just keep saving up. I got nothing to sell. Buy a couple more. Um, fuel. Rip the ship. Hell yeah. Alright, this ship looks like fun. I need to remember that I have cloaking as well. I can take advantage of that. Alright. That system's down. Well, that was a lot of evading. Damn it. Now that I'm not being interrupted anymore, 
Uh, what's up, Mama? What was I doing? Oh, right. Uh, just throw the kitchen sink at him. Why not? gonna run away, huh? I'm sure they won't. Now that's just rude. Go deal with that. That did next to nothing. Okay. Okay. You're fine. Oh, actually, you're not fine because O2 died. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah. You Well, just get healed up since you're in there. What could possibly go wrong? Here, human, be useful for once. There we go. Do a quick recharge of the O2 there by using level 2 O2. Alright, well that room is slowly refilling. But the rest of the ship's good to go. Let's see... That jump. And a dead jump. All right, diving for yet another sector exit. Why does this keep happening? Oh right, because I keep putting myself in these situations. Damn. Ow, that one hurt. Right in the O2. go. And I'm out. Uncharted Nebula or Uncharted Nebula? Uncharted Nebula, I think. I'd much rather go to an Uncharted Nebula than an Uncharted Nebula. Who in their right mind would go to an Uncharted Nebula? You know? Uncharted Nebula is a much safer option. Alright, well, actually, you heal up. There's that quest. Right near the back end of the sector. And dead jump right off the bat. You hate to see it. Won't be a next time. You're teleporting. Okay, got the big missile launcher offline. That's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. That was nothing. Those bombs only do damage to rooms with systems in them. So, if they go off in an empty room like this, it's nothing. Like, legitimately has zero effect. 
Oh yeah, you got damaged, didn't you? Important to stay on top of your healing, because you don't want to end up in a situation where you are getting boarded and your crew is half dead. Of course, if you got a clone bay, that's a different story. But I don't have a clone bay, I have a med bay. So if somebody dies, they're dead for good. Not that that's a good thing necessarily, but, you know, that, that's just the saying, right? Uh, oh, I want to look this up. Okay. So if I attack the ship, I just fight the ship. If I ap activate the weapons threateningly, I can receive medium fuel and scrap. Or I can fight the ship. Destroy... Okay, there's a lot of options. I am going to fight the ship. I mean, I do this. Yeah, that ain't worth it. Good amount of scrap, but I'll pass. That's four shields. That is four frickin' shields. Oh, good thing that recharges quickly. Like, sub ten seconds since full training. Twenty percent faster, plus I got an automated reloader. Ah! Nice misses. Damn, got me again on that. But they missed. Oh. So. Oh, good. Just what I wanted to see. Damn it! Just let me hit you! Hey, get out of cloaking, please. You're wasting a ton of time. Um, I'm going to take the risk and ignore it. It's going to take him a second to repair that. Ow. Well, that's not ideal. Angie, down. You, down. Even you, down. You're not doing anything otherwise. Jump a minute. Damn it! Well, that sucks. I should have just taken the other thing. Man, four shields. I'm not even in that bad of a spot right now, just I could not handle that ship. Hmm. I need hacking. I need... Hacking would have helped me there immensely. No. I need to find another store. Especially because my uh, fuel reserves are getting low. Not this again. You know what? I'm just going to take that. I'm just going to take that this time. That's... 
good enough for me. I'm not going to purchase an unknown weapon, thank you. Boy, you sure do like your bombs and missiles, don't you? That's a rock, crew member. Yep, there was in fact a rock crew member in there. Nice. Help out with the shields, would you? Not accept surrender. Also need healing. Okay, I'm up to 300 scrap in the reserves, so that's cool. I'd like to see a store at some point, though. Yeah, nice. That turned into 75 scrap, mind you. Finally a store. I'm taking that now. Filling up. I have nothing to sell. Did I buy another scrap recovery arm? Not doing that. Um, could do that. I think I'm going to do that. Damn it, Moha. repair a little bit more, why not? Just go straight to the quest. Jump back into the nebula after that. Oh, look at you with your reinforced doors. Oh, boy. You're gonna teleport? Really? Okay. You say so. Wow, that did nothing. Oi. Cloak under. There we go. 
ask about the Mantis ships. Oh, neat. That was a stealth cruiser quest. Fortunately, titanium system casings, I'm just going to have to leave on the side of the road. I like my current augment layout. Thank you. Apparently I never got the stealth cruiser quest, at least not on normal difficulty. Well, that's neat. Uh, I can still pick this up if I want because I haven't jumped away. I didn't know that. Neat. If I jump there, I can actually jump to there. But if I jump there, I'm... Dead. So I'm gonna jump there. Nothing to do. Wait, are you... Are you saying you've sent a boarding party to my med bay? How kind of you! Fortunately, it's only one person. But still. You love to see them boarding into the med bay. Even if only one third of the crew went there, it's still a wonderful thing. I could just jump straight to the exit, but this distress beacon is totally not going to get me killed, and is right there. Nope. I'm just noping out of that. Hell no. Do not bring the madman on board. I'll attack them. That weapon system is offline now. Want to see me do it to their field system now? I mean... You have to lay on your horn for a solid five seconds? This isn't New York City, asswipe. Jesus Christ. Um... Sorry, I think they're all dying anyway. Some sacrifices have to be made. The shame, I know, but... Although this is interesting. There's nothing I can realistically... well... Damn, they have level 202. Okay. Fair enough. And just regular old rebel controlled going into Sector 7. Oh well. Oh, that store. That store is in a horrible location. I'm going to it anyway. Yes, and yes. Distraction, boys! <laughs> such a good augment. Never use it, but such a good augment. Um... Yeah. I'm just gonna save up for other stuff. At this point.
I definitely want to get up to here and take advantage of these jumps, because I can get a lot more jumps as a result. So I think I'm going to skip right to there. <sighs> I mean, I can do that too. Mine won't last as long because I only have one power in it, but, you know. You've really got all three power, really. You know, that's, that's cute, but, um, this is a rock ship. You're not gonna really be doing much of anything with that. Let's see, where do I want to send all this? I guess just to you. Oh, I sent that way too early, didn't I? Okay, um, the weapons are not completely down. But, this could be much worse. Nice, huh? Oh, hey. You know what? The two of you, go fix that. I guess... Mm, you can stay there. <laughs> okay, well, you know that worked. Now the online stuff works anymore. Game. Yeah, that's the one thing that definitely sucks about modern games is that once the servers go offline for them, it's you lose it. Anywhere from a small chunk to a large chunk of the game. Also, that was a breach on that subsystem. I don't remember what that subsystem was. Fields? Fields, hell yeah. I'll let an asteroid finish them off, why not? Eventually? There we go. Alright, where to go from here? Over to here, sure. Why not? Okay, that was a waste of a jump. Another unmanned ship. Right back at you, dickbag. <laughs> it all missed. Damn. That was one hell of a whiff. Jesus Christ. Double breach into cloaking. <laughs> oh, God. Boy. Rude? How would you get that in there? I got you, Ma. Hey, you've repaired so much that you've actually gained enough experience to be a bit faster at repairing. Yay. Oh. There we go. Oh. Where to go from here? I do want to take advantage of some of these jumps.
Oh! BL2 Chain Vulcan with four shields. That's... mildly terrifying. Go beat him up, Engie. Alright, chain Vulcan offline. I can live with a BL2 only. You're fine. Go get healed. <laughs> now you want to get out? No, you're dead. Not accept surrender. Also, you know it'd be fun. <laughs> Go beat him up. <laughs> Go beat him up. Hell yeah! Take out the O2. <laughs> Go back to your stations. I want to see what's going on over there. There's no way to kill them at this point. I mean, I can do this. No, go beat up on the O2 system, you dumbass. Well, that works too. <laughs> yes, they just took themselves out. Mind control is fun. Alright, um... There's a store there. It might be worth looking at. But, for the time being at least... It is time for another break. I'm gonna stand up, stretch, and do all that good stuff. If you're able to do so yourself, I can I suggest doing the same. I'll be back in like three to five minutes or something like that. When I come back, we'll wrap this save up. Wrap this run up, this playthrough up. I I don't know, it's a run through the game. Simple as that. I'm going to run some ads while I'm away. It's the only time during the stream that I run ads, and it ensures that there are no pre-rolls well, at this point for the rest of the stream. Which, I don't know, should be at least a thir another 30 minutes or so. Yeah. Anyway. Here be.
Alrighty, I'm back. What do you want, Moha? I'm gonna mention this once again. It'll be the last time this stream, unless things go horribly wrong and this run ends up taking over an hour more. Couldn't happen, but you never know with FTL. And I don't know, what is there to say? If you can do if you can afford to do so, please give me money so that I can continue doing this and also it helps to add stuff to the stream schedule, because I don't know what I'm going to do for, like, half of this next week. No, oh, but seriously, like, I have no clue what I'm doing tomorrow night, and that is a problem, because it is tomorrow night. MSC ended. I'm not doing that anymore, so... You wanted to see me run the rally in my summer car? Well, uh, yeah, like I just said. If you wanted to see me run the rally, then you should have done something about the AI that pulled out in front of me like that. Is there the reason why it's not gonna happen? 
You play new and need for speed titles like Pro Street. Don't own Pro Street. I don't want to play Shift or Shift 2 because those are from SMS and, uh, well, you know, screw Ian Bellend and SMS in general. Um, I know you said Pro Street, but I'm listing the games I have. I just played Hot Pursuit 2010 recently, the end of last year. I don't have Pro Street as well, like I said, which is... Yeah, um... I do have Undercover. I don't know that I really want to play that, though, honestly. And I think the only other not-so-modern, but newer than what I've played before Need for Speed game that I have is Most Wanted 2012, but that requires going through, um... Origin, which... eh. Also, does that game even really have... A, like, a career mode, a story mode to it? Because you just kind of drive around and unlock cars, don't you? Gotcha, Maha. Uh, yeah, I've played Pro Street like once or twice, but that was ages ago, back when it was the newest or the previous title in the series. Yeah, I also played it on a Wii of all things, but whatever. Don't have a copy of it, so it wouldn't be happening. I'm gonna go to the store. Oh, hey, you know what? Um. I forgot that I'm still on the AFK screen. Uh, yeah, so, this is the thing, the commands are in the title anyways, um, back to the gameplay, yes. I made one jump, now I'm at a store. Alright, that was a waste of time. There. Hey, this is all I did. I just went from there to there. That's it. Uh, nah, not at this point. If I jump there, that'll allow me to get more jumps in, I think. Of course, there's this. Eh, that's fine. Where's the breach? Not a breach anywhere else, right? Nope. Oh, I'm gonna jump through the exit this way. Yeah, that's fair, Moha. I just... From that era... I have... Undercover... And that's it. Um, do I want to do any of these blue options? Because... I don't think it'll help. Just hack it. There we go. Almost forgot that I needed to have things up. That was not when I actually wanted to deploy that. Whoops. And of course. I don't, Moha. The only PS2 games I own are Undercover through Most Wanted. And Corbin? And Carbon. So the two Undercovers Most Wanted 2005 and Carbon, that's it. Damn you! Why can't you just miss? Oh, that hurts a lot. <laughs> Cloak, please.
Could have probably hacked their piloting, but whatever. There we go. What is this evasion? This is absurd right now, game. What is this? Okay, well I got down to it a little bit. Thank you. I guess that's one benefit I have, is that I actually do have a bookcase. It's not the best bookcase in the world, but it gets the job done. Holds all my console games. Well, the ones that aren't scattered in various boxes because they're GBA, GBC, or just GB games. I guess there's a couple of DS games that might be around the place as well. Potentially. That got a lot easier once it stopped evading everything. Alright, you, you, and then the two of you. One of you can go in there. I can still get the extra two jumps there, no problem. Why would I want to outrun it? Oh right, that's why, because we're in a nasty part of the sector. Can you stop targeting my freaking weapon system? Holy shit. Honestly, give me this power. Put one there. It will go there, and then that goes there. This ship. I find a Sector 6 store. Or a Sector 8 store, rather. Good. Okay, I no longer have to worry about taking damage. Is there any breaches anywhere else? That's just rude. Damn. 
I guess technically I could just do this and bring the flat cannon online. That would help with punching through the shields. More, more of a window there. Stop draining all my O2. Is that room left to refill? Good, I've got all my power back. You beautiful idiots, you. Alright. Reallocate all this power. Oh, right. Remember what I said earlier about them boarding into the med bay? Literally the best thing they can do. Also, you are now fully trained. Very nice. Alright, so those were wastes of jumps, but so be it. Locked Rock Cruiser Type C, though. We 10 hole restored. There is a Sector 8 store right there. Hell yes. Hell yes. Sector 8 stores are so uncommon. Offload the scrap recovery arm. It has served its purpose. I'm just going to heal all. I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that. I don't need a door subsystem, honestly. What's up, kiosk? You're here just in time. Can't do that. Do that for now. I should have gone to the repair station instead of healing up at the store. That was silly of me. Oh well. Attack the rebels. be worse. Uh, let's see. I don't want to play this. That has hit. So, you and you. Cloak under that. Nice. A little bit of extra damage, why not? annoying that that's still up, but that's okay. Because I can just do this. Okay, I clicked once and it did not register immediately, which was not ideal. Almost dead. Almost dead. Damn. And they're dead. Okay. Uh, it should be alright, Kiosk. Sorry, but I want the scrap. Especially since I forgot that I need to do that.
Yeah, I don't see why this shouldn't be doable. Might as well take the extra jump, right? Totally not a risk. Okay. 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 Well, I mean, there wasn't much I could do with how close that was. Damn. I was too late on pausing. Alright, enough of that. Do it the old-fashioned way. And that's why you actually like to have the hacking available to you. Uh... Really? I didn't think it had fired. Okay, well, I don't know why it came in from that side this time, but whatever. Yeah, I can put the power towards that instead. Okay, they're dead. 61 scrap. Imagine if I hadn't sold the scrap recovery arm, how much more that would have been. But, uh... I sold the scrap recovery arm, because you know what? At the end of the day, it's not... Not what I need, necessarily. Oh, if only there was an easy way back. Ah, eh, heck it. Risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Hell yeah, jump safe. I'm gonna be getting back to the flagship relatively late, is the only thing, but... Give me an extra power, why not? Can I just wait here and let the, the base go down? <laughs> I could, that'd be silly. Alright. Here we go. Gonna have to hope for a good hack. Weapons is a terrible hack. Weapons is an absolutely terrible hack. Yeah, it is. Kiosk. Alright, this isn't the end of the world as long as the hack ends soon enough. It's gonna have to reprioritize is all. Hmm. Sucks. This is like really not good. I'm gonna reset the battle. Oh, hey, that's great. Can you go? with that. There we go. Okay, hopefully this hack will be better because I just have to stick with it. I have no choice. 
have no choice. Okay, just fuck me, I guess. I'm getting terrible hacks this game, but whatever. Okay, that at least knocked it down a little bit. Have to wait for the the volley here, the the cloak here. That's fine. That was not when I wanted to do it. Also, freaking hacking, Jesus. Okay, breach and it's on fire. Only I had not done my battery backup. Here I can mess with somebody. Oh, those all missed. Beautiful. got one hit over there. So that's a thing. Here, go fix that, would you? Oh, you just stay in there then. <laughs> no repair, only break. Ow. But it's okay. Down to nearly 50% hole, but that was just a really shitty hack. Alright, keep power, repower. That is fine. No, not you. Just throw that there or something, it doesn't matter. Why am I not draining out the shields? What do I want to take down here? I guess just do that. Those were both misses. A little early on the cloak just to try and get under the missiles. But it's okay, the drones didn't do anything. Oh, they're back. How about, about the two of you switch positions, please? What's going on? I'm trying not to get my ship destroyed, geek. Up. Oh, 
can't even take a risk with it. O2 is breached, but it's not damaged otherwise. Right back into O2, seriously? Work on that. One into cloaking, I can live with that. Okay, they're healed up fully, so go back into O2 and deal with them, would you? Okay, we're done. There's still another phase to the battle. But we're at least done with that segment of it. Yeah, you go repair that. You go back in there. I can't open the doors. That'll all just heal naturally. Or, uh, yeah. It'll. The backup battery will refill itself quickly, so it, it, in between jumps. But whatever. It doesn't matter if I use it at this point, because it'll be good to go the next time I go. This is not ideal, 16 full damage, or 16 health left on the hole. It's not ideal, but okay. Uh, I do have a bit of scrap I can throw somewhere. Can't throw it into weapons, can't throw it into engines. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'm going to jump into the flagship now, and there's a particular strategy that is the reason why you would do this. I'm gonna set them to auto fire. Hey, you, go down there. You can see there's two more ready to board. Yep, I'm out. <laughs> you get in there so you, the poor NG isn't getting beat up? Basically, let the boarding parties come on board and then jump back to the base with the boarding parties. So that you can remove them from the equation. bit more healing as well. Let's just do that. Okay, um, I'd really like an extra power in hacking, but it's not gonna matter right off the bat. <clears throat> Hopefully this goes well, because if not, game's over. Game's over one way or another. Still got a boarding party, that's honestly fine. Yeah, you guys just beat up on sensors a little bit. That's fine. Don't care. The important part is I only have two borders now instead of five. <laughs> Ow. Okay. 
We are going now. Yeah, no, they, they don't like chems, do they? This is good to go, so, uh, you, go. And just cloak under that. Damn. Not a lot. You can tell I haven't been hitting this room enough because that guy's still alive. That was okay though, that was an okay volley, and because the shields are so far down... What is the hotkey for this? M. That's why I haven't been able to find it, because I haven't been going over that far. Just gonna have to soak any missiles that come this way. Almost dead. Oh, stop. There we go. No crew members were lost either. Of course, I did turn down a crew member a few times, but, you know is what it is. To be fair, one of them was Lanius, and I didn't really want Lanius crew because they kind of suck the air out of the room, and they're good crew, but... Mm. Yeah, if you kill all of the crew on the, Re the Rebel flagship kiosk, then the AI will take over on the piloting and everything, and it'll auto-repair the systems and stuff like that, and the normal rules apply or uh, AI control. But if you don't kill all the crew, that never happens. It's a lot easier to not kill all the crew in easy and normal compared to hard because in hard, the two side rooms where the missiles and the, the lasers are, you know, those are actually attached to the rest of the ship. So you have to deal with that. But on easy and normal, they're detached. Yeah, there we go. That is a complete run of FTL, and it went well. Started out as considering firebomb spam. This turned into a normal run. Let's see, I had scrap recovery arm from sector 3 or 4. So that will have definitely helped with the score. I didn't get too much free stuff, so... Considering I had not a maxed out ship, but still a fair amount, I'm gonna say like 4,600 points probably? 4,600 up to 4,700, somewhere in there? That's my guess. It was a pretty good run, but not the best. Uh, let's see what it is. 4,700. I wasn't that far off. The only win I've ever had on this ship. Apparently I did it once before and went nowhere with it. Uh, 40 ships defeated, not a lot. 107 beacons is a fair amount. Yeah, the scrap... The scrap was good, but... Considering I had scrap recovery arm, it wasn't that good. And part of that is only 40 ships. Like, 61 is a lot. But... Yeah. 7 crew hired, 7 crew finished the run. Not bad. 
How do I have Ancestry, but not Defense Drones? I also have Is a Warm in here. Yeah, I actually got the Ancestry achievement. Got that on both iPad and PC. And I got the Stealth Cruiser quest on normal. I don't know if I had it before on easy. I probably did, but I have it on normal now. And I've unlocked the Roxy ship. Which, as you can see, actually starts with a crystal crew member and a crystal weapon. Which is pretty cool. Also, doors. Doors exist. Lots of doors. Yeah, just a reminder, this entire run, I had no control over these doors. Whatsoever. Zero control over the doors. They just... Doing their own thing. I don't have Crystal B. I've not done any Crystal runs, actually. Uh... you. Yeah, I've not done any Crystal runs ever. Yeah, we heard you like doors. Not on Rock B, we don't! 28, almost 2,900 ships defeated. 72, almost 7,300 beacons explored. Over 136,000 scrap collected and 834 crew hired. Yeah, I don't know how far back this save file goes, but probably a number of years. I don't know that it's my original, but... 166 games played, 42 total victories. And keep in mind, it's all on normal or easy. I was going to say, how do I not have a victory on normal with the Lanius? Oh, right, because it's under Lanius B. God, 5,800 uh, score? Holy shit. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that score is what gave that scrap number. It would probably be that, or... That, yeah, and of course that's the one that died. <sighs> died right at the end of the game. That's 5807, what were you? 5802. So my two highest scores are... Well, one is a non-finisher, the other actually did finish. The reason why these two specifically are so high, this is a boarding ship. And this is a four-person boarding ship. So you can see... Four-person boarding... Four-person teleporter, rather. And over here, there's only a two-person teleporter, but it's still a teleporter. Plus, if you can manage to get your Lanius as the boarders... Oh. You know how quickly these two will drain O2 out of a room together? Very quickly. And then not only are the, uh, the, the opposition taking damage from these two, but they're also taking suffocation damage as well. Plus you start out with the advanced flak, which is the flak cannon, but faster charge time and one less power. Advanced flak is ridiculously good. But it's only available on that ship, right? Only that ship? Uh, yeah. Only that ship. Alright, anyway. That's gonna be it for that. Uh, let me just disable capture. And then we're gonna hop over here for a second so that I can... Disable that and re-enable that. And then we go here. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this stream. The next stream is going to be tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, like normal. Keep in mind, the U.S. just shifted into daylight savings, so we may be an hour ahead of where we were previously, if you live elsewhere in the world. 
So that's one day, three hours, 45 minutes ahead instead of one day, four hours, 45 minutes ahead. Like it might have been last week. Well, it still would be three hours, 45 minutes, but the stream, the stream itself, as well as tomorrow's stream, would be an hour ahead or an hour sooner, I guess, technically. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, but I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll keep working on the track in GTA. Maybe I'll do something new that I haven't done before. Probably won't do FTL since I just did it today. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Probably, hopefully. Or... I mentioned this early in the stream. I think I might be sick. My mother came down with something, and it's not COVID. The symptoms do not match COVID, so that's good at least. But uh, I think I might have caught it as well. My throat's been feeling like shit all day. Which, streaming has really done that good, you know? Been great for it, but whatever. But I can't tell if I'm actually sick or if this is just allergies. But, uh, yeah, if I end up being quiet tomorrow, you know why. Yeah, that for now to you as well, Moha. Um... Yeah, I'm going to run some ads on the way out, as I usually do. If you don't want to stick around for them, that's fine. That's why they're at the end. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to. But, of course, I always appreciate you sticking around for them anyway. But, as I said, don't feel like you have to. Anyway, that all being said, that's going to do it for me tonight. Thank you. Tonight. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you next time. Later.